Hey everybody, it's Jax with Outpost Gray. I wanna to talk to you all about microeducation. This is something that I have found that has really worked for me. It's a term that I coined for myself and something that I have been teaching my mentors about. And where it came about is I have a lot of individuals that'll reach out to me and ask me how they can pivot into the cyber threat intel space. And one of the top questions they'll ask me is how can I get more aware of what's happening in the threat threatscape? And the thing that I have to remind them is you can't dive head first. This industry, as we all know, is you can get it's it's very cerebral heavy and you can get burnt out very easily if you're not careful. And what I have found that has worked for me being in the cyber threat intel space, staying abreast of the current and emerging threats is microeducation. And so what that means is I do small bits every single day to try, try to stay as updated as possible. And that's between 20 minutes to one hour I spend every day reading something or listening to something to help me stay up to date with all of the information that's out there. So what I will typically do is first thing in the morning, I will listen to a podcast. Typically the cyber wire is my go-to because I know it's it's 20 minutes. I have other podcasts that I will listen to, but the cyber wire I found to be the best for me say you're one of those people that like to listen to something in the background while you're working, then you can get a longer podcast and I'll actually show you my podcast feed so you can see the ones that I'll go to that are a little bit longer than 20 minutes. Uh, the other thing that I'll do is first thing in the morning after I get you know my coffee, my workout in, I'm showered, I'm ready to go, I sit down. Before I open any emails, I will typically go to some news sites and review the current news, especially if I've heard something on the cyber wire that I want to research and learn a little bit more about. So this is what I will actually share my screen for you so you can see, because I make my life pretty easy and I create tabs, even though I will typically know where I want to go. Um, I have an OSINT tools link and then right here I have a news drop down. Now this is not all inclusive. These are just my top ones that I'll usually pivot into because uh, you'll usually see, especially in the CTI space, um, typically when a news site publishes an article, a lot of the other news sites will pick them, pick it up and regurgitate the story in their own, in their own words, but then we'll put a link, embed a link to that original story. You'll start to see that a lot. So I found that the hackers news, this is actually ZDNet and threat post are pretty good for me to be able to pivot into. And I have some other ones that I'll utilize, but these will be my go-to. And then outside of that, I might do some additional research. So I would say go out, Google, try to find news uh, news sites that are cyber threat intel specific that you would like to review. I know SANS has some. We actually have a list of these in our book that is coming out in the fall. So you can check that out. You can buy it on Amazon, Cybersecurity Master Plan through Pact Publishing. Here is another here's a, another thing that I do is podcasts. I love podcasts. You can listen to it passively. I would highly encourage trying to get in here and start finding podcasts that'll work for you. Uh, the Daily Cyberwire, I love it. 20 minutes typically, it's awesome. It's down and dirty. It gives you all the information. And then if you hear something, you want to research it further, this is a great one. This one is also a really good one. I was recently told about this one and it, this is even quicker. It's typically less than 10 minutes and it'll give you the highlights. It's really good for CISOs to listen to, to know what the vulnerabilities are out there. And then Smashing Security, I like this one. It's got, it definitely ties humor into the cybersecurity. So it's not cut and, so cut and dry for any of the newbies out there. I, I started with Smashing Security a few years ago and I go back to it every once in a while, but I will tell you it's a very good one to get you kind of away from the dryness. And then there's a few others in here, the InfoSec and OSINT podcast show. And Josh is actually going to be on the Hackers and Hexen podcast that I host with Erica and John. So pretty excited about that. But this is a really good one for understanding the threats and vulnerabilities in the OSINT, o OSINT sphere. Josh has a lot of good guests, a lot of good information. It's a little bit longer show, but I recently started listening to it in the last month and I love the data. Uh, another one I listen to is that private privacy and security in OSINT, another really good one. 
Um, Michael is great. At, go check him out as well. And then Unsecurity, big fan of Unsecurity, Evan. They just, it's really just sitting there and just chatting about like the current events and it can range from cyber policy, CMMC, current vulnerabilities, solar winds and deep diving into it, but keeping it at a level, I think that everybody can really understand. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to challenge you all, go out there, figure out what's going to work for you, but include micro education into your daily activities. This is going to keep you abreast of the ever-changing threatscape, but not overwhelm you because we, I caught myself when I first really pivoted into the private side of cybersecurity. I dove head first and I got burnout really quickly. And for me, micro-education is the way to go. Hope that helps you guys. Have a great day. Hey guys, thanks for watching my micro-education video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button and share with others. See you guys next week.